Welcome to Electro Online, and here we have a different type of fractional inequality. We have two fractions on the left side, less than or equal to zero on the right side. Okay, how do we solve that? Well, we want to turn it into a single fraction. To do that, we need to put both of them over a common denominator. In this case, the common denominator is going to be the product of x minus 1 times x plus 3, which means the left fraction will have to be multiplied times x plus 3 divided by x plus 3, and the right fraction needs to be multiplied times x minus 1 over x minus 1. So let me illustrate what that means. So here we have 1 over x minus 1, and we're going to multiply that times, and let me use a red color, x plus 3 over x plus 3. Remember, this is equal to 1, so we really didn't change the fraction at all. The right side, this becomes plus 1 over x plus 3, and we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by x minus 1. x minus 1 times x minus 1. And again, remember, when we look at this, this is simply equal to 1, so we did not change the right fraction at all, and that is less than or equal to 0. Okay, now we see that both fractions have the same denominator, so we can write them over the same denominator. So this becomes x plus 3 uh, plus x minus 1, so these are the two numerators, all divided by x minus 1 times x plus 3, less than or equal to 0. I really didn't need the parentheses in the numerator, but they're there now, so now we can simply add this together. So in the numerator we get 2x, and 3 minus 1 is plus 2, divided by x minus 1 times x plus 3 less than or equal to zero. Now we're ready to find the critical points because what we're going to do now is we're going to write this as a, an equation by changing this symbol here to an equal sign to find the critical points. So here we have 2x plus 2 divided by x minus 1 times x plus 3 and you set that equal to zero and now you find all the values for x that will satisfy that equation and all the values of x that x cannot be. Now notice we have two products in the denominator. If x is equal to 1, that gives us a zero denominator. And when x is equal to negative 3, that gives us a zero denominator, which makes that undefined. So here we have two values that x cannot be. x cannot equal 1 and x cannot equal negative 3. So those become two of the critical points on the number line. The third one is when we look at the uh, fraction and we find the value for x that make the fraction equal to zero. <clears throat> now remember that when a fraction equals zero, that means the numerator equals zero. So when we take 2x plus 2 and set it equal to zero, that means 2x is equal to minus 2, or x is equal to minus 2 divided by 2, or x is equal to negative 1. That's the third critical point. We have three of them. The two values, 1 and negative 3, from realizing that x cannot equal those two values because we get a zero denominator, and thirdly, the third value, x equals negative 1, will make the numerator equal to 0, which means that's another critical point. Now we draw the number line. We find the three critical points. Here's the value 0. We have negative 1, negative 3, and positive 1. And let me draw little circles around that. Now two of those three cannot be included in the solution. The two values that x cannot be, which is the value of 1, and the value of negative 3. Now x equals negative 1, that can be part of the solution, and notice it has to be because we see the equal sign there, so this becomes part of the solution, but those two points do not. But we do have four regions. We have region number 1, region number 2, region number 3, and region number 4, and now we're going to pick four test points, one in each region, to plug into the equation, or I should say inequality here, to see if it satisfies inequality. So negative 4 from region 1. Here we can take negative 2 from region 2. We can pick the number 0 from region 3 and the number 2 for region 4. When we plug those four values in, see what we get. Starting with negative 4. If we plug in negative 4, the numerator, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, plus 2 is negative 6. That gives us a negative quantity. If we plug in a negative 4 here, that becomes negative. We plug a negative 4 in, that becomes negative, and the question is, will that be less than or equal to 0? Question mark. Now, a negative divided by negative divided by negative, that is three negatives, I don't need that one there, those are just signs. Three negatives form a negative number, 
and that is less than zero? The answer is yes. So I picked a point, a sample point, from a region that satisfies inequality, which means all numbers less than negative three are part of the solution. Let's pick the next test point, negative two. Negative two times two is negative four plus two, that's still a negative number in the numerator. Negative two minus one, that's still a negative number in the denominator there, and negative two plus three, that's a positive number. Can this be less than or equal to zero, question mark? And the answer is no, because a negative divided by negative is a positive number, divided by positive is still positive, and that cannot be less than zero, so the answer is no, which means we pick the point this time in a region that does not satisfy the inequality. Third point, the point number zero. Plug a zero in here, we get a positive number in the numerator. Plug a zero in here, we get a negative number here. Plug a zero in there, we get a positive number. Notice positive divided by positive divided by negative is a negative number. And is that less than or equal to zero, question mark? And the answer is yes. A negative number is always less than zero. Therefore, I pick the point from a region that does satisfy the inequality. Finally, the final region. I pick number two. Plug it in here, I get a positive numerator. Plug it in here, two minus one is still positive, and two plus three is positive. Everything to the left side is positive. Can that be less than or equal to zero? The answer is no. So I picked a point from a region that does not satisfy the inequality. And so now that means that the region less than negative three and the region between negative one and, zero and one, including negative one but not including one, is part of the solution. If you want to write it, in an equation format like this, you can say that x is less than negative 3, not including, and we know that negative 1 is less than or equal to x, which is less than 1. And so these, this is the way in which you can write the total solution of that inequality. And that's how we do that.